Hey everyone, how is it going? Welcome back. Got some new products to open up today. I say new, uh, new to us. They've been out a little while. These are the Cyrus and Clara Premium Tournament Collections. I think these actually came out at the weekend. We were at PAX, but you know, with Scarlet and Violet and stuff, that stuff has been uh, taken priority. We've got a full sealed uh, box of them here. Because that's two of each, because, as you know, me and Laura, we get two of each. Force the Bosses all is a play like a pop star. These are the kind of the uh, milk carton style packs. I think that's what people called them. Milk carton style boxes that we got Marnie in first, you know, like a year, 18 months ago or something. I think the Marnie was. It happened while we were out in Hawaii. And uh, then we got Juniper. So we'll open one of these up each on camera, then pull the packs out the other one. Start off with Cyrus. So what's the same we're going to get? Full art bosses orders support a Cyrus. Three additional foil bosses orders support cards featuring Cyrus. 65 cards, sleeves, deck box, coin, condition marks, etc. Seven packs is the big thing. There's our dice. Uh, sleeves here. Here's our promo pack. We'll look at them together with the Claras in a minute. Uh, there's our oh, big Cyrus coin there. Cyrus himself is on the coin. And then what packs we have. This is actually quite a nice deck box. I think this is this is a lot nicer than the Juniper one and the Marnie one. It's a bit thicker and it opens this way rather than just up. There's the Poison Burn markers. And then, oh, so this is actually slotted. It's not just a thing to separate the packs. So it looks like that's going to hold your deck and then it's going to hold your dice or other stuff in it. That's really nice. Packs, we got three Silver Tempers, two Astral, a Brilliant Stars, and a Fusion Strike. Onto the Clara one, which I'm assuming is going to be pretty similar. And then we're going to have 28 packs told to open. Uh, so this one is a Clara supporter card rather than, you know, a boss's orders. Uh, there's the dice. Oh, I actually really like those dice. I might have to get a lot of these. <laughs> actually, probably two packs is enough for damage counters. Uh, there is the promo. Let's say we'll look at those a bit more in a moment. There is our Clara coin. Try and get it in the right angle. There we go. That's a very nice coin. There's the sleeves. Very nice. Deck box again. Nice Velcro deck box. Same poison burn. And then do we have the same packs? Let's find out. Three silver, two astral, a brilliant fusion. All right, we do. So I'll clear this up and then we'll open some packs and look at some promos. I'll right, we'll do the promos first, then open the packs. So we'll start with the Clara. So Clara is Blackstar promo SWSH. 302 the full art one and then there's gonna be three more regular foils behind which i think are just gonna be you know foil variants from the set rather than a uh, numbered promo or anything so there we go there's the clara and yep it is cosmos foil print of the chilling rain clara and we do get three copies of that one and then the Cyrus is, of course, the card Boss's Orders Cyrus, as opposed to being a card called Cyrus. But we are, again, going to be getting one of the full art print, which is a Black Star promo. It is number 251. It's a bit of an older one. I think they've been waiting for this gap to be filled for quite some time now. And then three Cosmos foil variants of the Cyrus from Brilliant Stars. Now into some packs. I'll start with Fusion Strike. Uh, they are a little bit battered, so hopefully the cards are okay. So Fusion Strike, uh, I actually traded for a few cards last weekend to try and get closer to finishing this one. So the cards I traded for was two full art Muse, which both me and Laura needed. So it will be hilarious if we pull that. But obviously I'm hoping to pull the Alt Art Gengar, which is one of, I think, two cards I now still need for the set. Russ Phalanx and a Palisand. Laura is missing a few more cards, including the Gengar. I think she's missing the full art Mew and stuff as well. I know she's missing one Reverse. She's missing Reverse stuff also. Pretty soon we're just going to trade and buy for a Reverse Totodile and an Oracorio. Trade and buy for the rest of uh, Fusion Strike. You know, these packs I'm only opening because they come uh, in these box sets. Silver Tempest were kind of close to finishing too. Nowhere near as close to Fusion Strike. But we got boxes of Silver Tempest recently. But we have decided just, you know, we're not going to bother opening them. Reverse Jigglypuff and a Foil Obstagoon. Just because it's so little odds of us getting what we actually need. And then even if we get what we actually need, the majority of it is not worth the price of the box. Like, Lugia, Laura still needs one. 
And Lugia is about the price of two boxes if we sold at a decent rate. And then everything else would be worth less than the box we opened for it. What do we got? Reverse Nine Tails. And something stuck to a Reverse Nine Tails. Let's crack this open. It's a Bolton V Max. All right. On a brilliant stars now. And you know, we always like opening packs and stuff, even when we know value wise it's always better to buy singles. But when we're starting out a set and we're filling in gaps in the binder and we've got a lot of stuff missing, we still prefer opening the boxes when there's a lot of good things we could hit, even if it's not totally good value wise. But when you get the missing so little, Rush Chimp Char and a Killing Clang, then it's just not worth it at all. Because not only is it not worth it value wise, it's just not, it's not really fun for us. Um, people probably wouldn't enjoy the videos so much if I was doing it. So, anyway, from Brilliant Stars, I know we need, and Laura needs a Rainbow Charizard V Max or V Star, and then that's pretty much the only big thing. Uh, we both need the, the regular full art Charizard, but we have the alt arts and stuff, so. That rainbow is the only big thing we're still missing from this set, so. Yeah, I've said so a lot in this video already. Reverse Axew and a Wormadam. We are both also completely done with reverses for this set. As we are for Astral Radiance, which will be opening in a moment. Silver Tempest, I think we might be missing a couple, but not very many. Reverse Charon's Care and a Star Raptor. Astral was the set we got super unlucky and never hit the two most expensive cards in the set. So Ultra Machamp and Ultra Dialga, we still have none of. We hit a lot of the Ultra Palkia, which started as the most expensive card in the set. We've got a Flapple character rare and a Glaceon. Honestly, the more stuff I open, the more it just makes me want to open more Scarlet and Violet. Uh, even though we're not doing that either, because we are both now definitely within striking distance of finishing our set. We did some good trades and stuff. Oh, we do have something coming up with this one. Radiant Holucha and a Weird DV. All right, full art. We'll take a full art. We're trading with people at League and going to a trade day. Um, out of like the big three cards in the set, which are the alt arts of Miriam, Maridon, and Gardevoir, in that order, like the most expensive ones, um, I'm missing a Gardevoir, and then that's it. We each have a Miriam, we each have a uh, Maridon. Ooh, some reverse Magnemite, and oh, all right, yep, yeah, weird here. <laughs> Random packs. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, Scarlet and Violet, uh, once I'm able to trade for Gardevoir, I think that means the next most expensive card I'm missing in the set is like $15. And so if I'm able to trade for a Gardevoir, which I'd still like to, rather than going out and buying it, then at that point we may just buy stuff. Hey, there's a character at Gardevoir. Actually, this is the Gardevoir that jumped up in price. This is about a $6 card or something now. And we've got a Regice. I have no idea if uh, Regis are actually still playable or not. <laughs> Next pack, what do we got? Reverse Cleavor and a Typhlosion. These sets, of course, I was, was just honestly happy to get them in order to try and fill uh, those promo gaps. We're coming towards the end of the Sword and Shield promo era. There's not too many more gaps in the binders. What do we got? Oh, well, we have we have a Dark IV and we have something stuck to the back of a Standler. Bear with me. Ooh. All right, well, we'll take that for being stuck to the back of Stantler. Alt Art Garchomp V from the Trainer Gallery. Very, very nice card. And actually looks like it wasn't damaged, uh, so some minor miracle there, despite the fact it was just completely stuck to another card. What do we have this time? Reverse Bisharp and a Registeel. Last pack of Astral, then it's some Silver Tempest, and then we're done with this video. Honestly, these videos are just ones where it's like, I'm opening the product anyway. You might like to see some promos. Reverse Scyther and a high flo uh, high flosion. High Suian, Typhlosion. Then we got about 12 Silver Tempest, I think. Like I said, Laura's still missing a Lugia. We can keep our fingers crossed. And we're both still missing Reggie Drago. So. That one in the alt art wouldn't be terrible either. Reverse Eldrim and an Amoongus. These videos I suppose, also are not bad to go back through and uh, figure out what promos and stuff came in what product when, when I don't know. I'll be doing that a lot as I'm making binder updates for the Sword and Shield era, which I should be doing hopefully soon. Rust Beldum and a Fion. I was all set to be like, you know, I'm going to make just some binder videos, show off all the variants from Sword and Shield era. We have basically all of them, and then the play promo sets happened, and yeah, that's happening. So I've got to figure that out first. 
Ooh, Radiant Alakazam, we'll take it. And a Zero Aura. Not sure if my chair's sitting here. My camera keeps tilting back. I'm trying to stay centered in this. All right. A few more. What do we got? Hey, Persimian character rare and a Fiona. You know, a couple of cards worth a dollar or two here or there. We'll take those. They do help uh, build back the value of of this stuff that we buy for the promos. The rest is Sand Isle and a God of War. Silver Tempest, there was also a chance we've hit a reverse or two that we needed. I don't think we may need that many, but I think there are a couple we still need. I just don't have, you know, my lists or anything together for Silver Tempest yet, because we were unsure on opening those boxes. Reverse Beldum and a McGee and a V. You know, not that any of you care about hearing the status of my uh, sets. You want to see sets in binders, which I promise you will get soon. Just waiting for all of the Crown Zenith stuff to finish releasing. Got a character a Flaffy and a Neuburn. I have to have another Flaffy in the trainer gallery in, in the trainer gallery. In the trade binder, actually, because a lot of people have been looking for that one. Because you know it's a Dynamotor card, and Dynamotor is a really, really, really good ability. What do we got? Reverse Primordial Alt there. Then a superior V-Star. I'll take a V-Star. Four more packs to hit our Lugia. <laughs> What do we got? Oh, something good. Trainer Gallery Raihan. I will take that. That is a very nice one. That might be the best hit of the video so far. Very sweet. That one I'm also not sure if I had either. So, very nice. We have Rust Crobat and a foil Crobat. Two more Silver Tempest packs. Two more. It's Rush Chin Chow and a Zero Aura. I would say last Silver Tempest pack we're opening on this channel, but I know that we'll be well into the Scarlet Violet era before they stop putting Silver Tempest packs into uh, <laughs> random products. So, what do we got? Reverse Rapidash and Alolan Vulpix V. Very nice little card to end it off with. All right, let's go over the good stuff real quick. So, a little recap Fusion Strike, we've got a Bolt on V Max. Brilliant Stars, we've got nothing. Astral Radiance, Character Air Flapple, Radiant Holucha. Dark V, two Fallout Weird Uh God of War character error. I don't know why I separated that one. And, of course, this very, very nice altered art. Garchomp V, very nice card with pulls. That, is that better than Raihan? It's either that or Raihan. Both very good pulls. Radiant Alakazam from Lost, uh, from Silver Tempest. Not from Lost Origin. There's nothing from Lost Origin here. Alone Vulpix V, Magina V, Superior V-Star, Flaffy character error, Persimian character error, and a... Full art, alt art, Raihan. Goes very nicely with the uh, Cyrus and Clara promos that we got these boxes for. So, you know, as I say, when you're buying these promo products, you're buying them for the promos. And then anything you get from the packs, it's just a nice little bonus. And I will take a full art trainer gallery, Raihan, and an alt art, God of War. Not God of War. Well, alt art, God of War is not bad. And uh, the Garchomp V. I will take that as my nice little bonus. Anyway, that's going to be it from me for a day. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I will see you again very soon. I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who chooses to support me on Patreon. If you'd like to get involved, help support the channel, and see some behind-the-scenes content, click on the link in the description. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>